Elizabeth Riddler, personal member and counselor at large. Uh, I'd like to thank you for taking on the arduous task of candidacy. Um, but I also want to address uh, a, an issue that has concerned me for some time. Uh, this is the tendency to classify as special services, either services to seniors or services to in individuals with disabilities, with the graying of the population, with the return of uh, veterans. Uh, these, these groups are really no longer a minority. Um, they're not a quarter, they're probably a third of the population are trending that way. And how do you see ALA working to mainstream services uh, to these groups and working with these groups? Uh, and this is not just public libraries, but also the, you know, the brain force going back into academia and, and taking lifelong learning and so on. How do you see us turning ourselves around from just saying, oh, they're off there and somebody else does it, to th making everybody think of this is an area which we should be serving? I'll respond briefly in this setting, but let me start by saying you've raised an issue where I really would want to spend time with you and others who would be interested in exploring this further. My own experience causes me to question the assumption that we're saying they're over here. I don't believe that we all do that. So once again, I would say I would want to examine the situation. I would want to understand where there are programs and activities and there are people who are acting out of a belief that we need to be inclusive. We need to recognize the natural synergies that will come from bringing people of difference together. And I should say to you, I've learned through the course of my work, both within ALA but also in the consulting work, that whenever we are more receptive, inclusive, and accepting of difference, we are creating conditions under which we can be much more creative and innovative in what we're doing. And I thank you for the question because I think it's a great example of an issue where if we were to tackle it directly, we would discover possibilities that are not yet in front of us. But I would want to understand, what's the current setting? I too thank you for that question because I agree that certainly as a, a large population that is growing in America. Um, and I also um, agree with Maureen on this question, as I believe that there might be a, a number of groups within ALA that might be interested in this question and have um, an interest in talking with you about that. And I wonder if there are pop populations within ALA that have this um, issue and that they just don't know about each other. So I would uh, agree that I think there's a, po a possibility that we just need to get different groups talking with each other um, and working together within ALA um, because there certainly is the possibility that we need to have um, a group within ALA or groups within ALA working on this issue um, and addressing um, the population that's out there. Um, I think that certainly the public library of CASA and, and a number of different ASCA, uh, uh, a number of issues are po a possibilities of places that it could, uh, it could be a home for them, uh, uh, particular possibilities. But um, there's, there's no question that this population exists and that they need to be served. And I, I believe that ALA has always been open to uh, addressing any population and I think that that would be just a need to um, address that and um, bring it to the forefront and that there'll be a group out there willing to us, um, help you with that.